Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. And real quick, we're gonna start out with um, something that I wanted to mention. Um, a lot of you have gone over and purchased my, um, my funky artistic doll faces. And I wanted to say again, just to reiterate, cause I've had some confusion and I totally understand it, believe me. I That's why I mentioned it in the first place. But when you pull these up on your computer screen after you download the images from Etsy, you're gonna see probably a black screen. It depends on your computer. Some screens like on my computer, it looks like a black and white checkered all over behind it and you can see the faces. But on some computers, it's gonna be black. That's all you're gonna see. But when you pick one and you go to the print preview or it goes to the next step where it usually shows you what your page is gonna look like that you're gonna print, you'll see the images at that time. Um, and also if you just uh, print them all out, they'll all print out on whatever color paper you choose. So again, the reason I did the transparent background or no background is what it ends up looking like obviously on a computer because everything's black. Um, and the images are black, so that's why you can't see them, um, is because I wanted you to be able to print on any color of paper. You know, you could even print on this kind of a pinks and bright blues and whatever, and you're only gonna get that image on top of there. You're not gonna get any other um, background color that would change the color of your paper. And you can also print <clears throat> this way on transparency paper, and you don't get anything else but the image. So that's why I did those like that. And I know it's super confusing because you pull it up and it's all black, so you think it's not there. But it really, really, I promise it is. So if you just pick one, say print, it'll go to usually your print preview, or you can choose to go to a print preview, and then you'll be able to see which um, ones you're printing. I know that's kind of a pain, but I really, really wanted them to be able to be printed on anything and, um, you know, not have like any other color come onto the background. Cause you know, if I just print, um, like if I print this page right here, which is a digital download onto transparency paper, obviously I'm getting all of those colors printed onto the paper too. And so no matter what the background color is, it's gonna print onto the transparency paper. You have to make the background transparent in order to be able to do that. And I've done this before with my spooky stamps, my Halloween set that's called Spooky Stamps. It has the funny little character, Halloween character stamps that are drawn in black, and it's the same thing. It comes up with the black background because it's transparent. And there's some other ones that I've done it with as well. But I just really, um, like having that. I could have made the background white, but then anything you print on, you're going to get that white layer. And so, um, I mean, you probably could still see like a design like this through it, but, um, I just really wanted just the image to be able to be printed onto whatever you wanted it to be printed onto. So I hope that makes sense. And I'm sorry for the, any confusion that it caused, but I swear you got all of them. They just, they're just hard to see um, on that. And there just isn't another way that we know of anyway. I mean, maybe there is, but um, my son's pretty tech savvy and he says that's the only way he knows how to do it. So I, I don't know, but um, sorry for any confusion that caused. Okay, so um, we're going to, I hope you're having a good day. I'm <laughs> sorry, hi, and I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> I just um, had, to, had to say that because I just wanted to make sure people know because I feel bad when, you know, you think you bought something and it's not there, but it truly, truly is, I swear. Um, so we're going to make this little, I don't know, I bought this ages ago at Michael's, I'm pretty sure. And I don't even know, because I threw away the packaging. Like, I don't know who these are by, even. I don't know if they are a Tim Holtz thing or not. But anyway, it's like this little uh, pocket thing that you can close up like this. A folio, I guess you would call it. And um, so you can decorate all that. And then the journal is just kind of like three ring binder style, but it comes with this little um, spine with the brads in it. That once you get it how you want it, you just put it together with the spine and then the whole thing can come in and out of that little folio container. And, um, you know, then you, then you have it. So there's some pages that already have some pockets, which is really kind of cool. 
and then there's a bunch of plain pages. So I think we're going to treat this sort of like doing an altered book or, you know, three ring binder where you um, usually you make the pages for the three ring binder, but we have pages and we're just going to glue things on like we would for an altered book. So that's kind of what I wanted to start today. And we're going to use my Down by the Sea Digi, which we I put this with it because this will go in it. Um, we did this one in our TCTC on Tuesday, which is the Colossal Tome of Concepts um, Idea Journal. So that's what um, that was for. That's what we made that for. So I'm going to use that and like, you know, these are all from my Down by the Sea Digi. But then my friend Allie, I love you, Allie. <laughs> We, I swear, are on the same wavelength about 90% of the time, even though we talk like, hi, how you doing? That kind of thing. We've just been busy lately, both of us. And she's um, been sick and some stuff. So like, um, you know, I'll say, how are you doing? Whatever. We chat about that. But we haven't chatted about anything to do with paper or journals or anything. And she's made this kit and it's called Bohemian Brights. I bought one set one and set three. So I have two of the sets. The second set is a little bit more um, pinky, orangish, just bright. I mean, they're just all obviously bright and beautiful. But these two kits go, I mean, could it be any better with my Down by the Sea? And I didn't do a lot of background pages for my Down by the Sea Digi, so this was awesome when I saw this. So this is out of set one, and I only printed a few pages out of each because I don't think I need, like, obviously you know, three whole kits to go in this. It, it just, it, it wouldn't fit. So I just picked out some of the ones that had the blues and pinks and things because I, you know, that goes the best. So there's like this one and this one in set one. And this is in set one. And then there's some other lovely pink, orange. She's got um, beautiful things with this lace. And so those are in there. So go check them out if you um, like you know, the bright, the bright, bright bits, because Allie's the greatest at um, that bright style, you know, doing the really bright colors, lots of bling, lots of um, trims and things. She's awesome at that. So there's also like these little receipts and things that she's colored very brightly. And this is in set three. And this is also set three. I mean, look at that. I think I printed two of these. I don't, <laughs> I mean, it's fine because they, it just, it just goes so good with my Down by the Sea. And it kind of has that oceany feel, I feel like. This one too, especially with the, reminds me of like foam or something in the ocean. So we're going to use these with my Down by the Sea Digi because I just was like, wow, could these colors and stuff be any better? And see, so some of her kits, or I mean, like the second kit has a lot more of this, these tones in it, you know. And this is still set one. I printed more pages off of this one because there were more of the blues in that. Okay. Set three, I said, right? Set. This is set three. The first few pages I showed you was from set one. So... That's what we're going to be using in this little journal. So I think I'm just going to jump right in and get going. So I hope you guys are doing awesome. I think I'm going to start with pages. I'm not positive what I want to do with the cover yet. So we will wait on that. But I definitely, definitely want to. I'm thinking that is going to fit right in there. And it is. So we can put that little tag in there after we decorate this up. And I'm sorry that I don't have more information on this. I've had it for quite a while. And um, I am pretty sure I bought it originally at Michael's, but you know, they probably don't have them anymore. I mean, they may, I don't know. And you might be able to find something like it online and I wish I knew the, um, stuck the um, company, <laughs> words, that does this. But anyways, yeah, I'll see. I may have to re-glue some of these, but that's how long I've had it. It's just been sitting. And so that's what happens. So I will put a stronger glue on there and hope that it will stay down. But yeah, hope you guys are doing awesome. I am having a good day. My son is 
doing community service for his senior project today. So he's at one of the colleges working with the, the tech, uh, tech group. I don't know. <laughs> it has to do with computers. <laughs> I'm so great, right? But um, yeah. Sorry, I wanted to grab these. Um, so that's what he's doing. And my daughter's working on getting a mural together for her one of the walls at her work. Her and um, one of the other um, girls that she works with is going to help paint um, a mural in their, on one of their walls. So they're putting, trying to figure that out today, how, what they want to do and all that. So that's always fun. And I love doing that. I haven't done a mural and I don't even know how long it's been years. So I'm excited that she'll get to do something like that. And I don't think I want to like cover everything, but I think I do want to put a little bit of gesso and we might use a little bit of the um, Stabilo All pencils, kind of like we did yesterday, just to get a little bit of this sort of color on these. I don't want to change them entirely because one, that would be a nightmare to try to make happen. But um, I also just, you know, kind of like it, but we could put a little bit of the iridescent paint would be good so I'll get that out sorry I thought I had everything but then ideas come to my brain as I'm standing here so that's just the way it happens so we're just gonna play so just craft along with me work on whatever you're working on and we'll just we'll just see where we come out at the end right I need a scratch paper I'm really good at making messes. So yeah, sorry about any confusion that got caused with that digi. It's just really hard to know how to do it. I did um, give a description in the description box, but I know sometimes you're like, oh, I saw it or whatever. And so I know that's what I want to get. And you don't read the description, which I totally get because I do it all the time. But, um, yeah, so sorry about that, because I think I did have some people that were a little freaked out that they didn't get their digi. But you did, you did, I swear. So I kind of like this, um, the craft anyway a little, because it's, it sort of gives you that sand vibe you know so I like that just want to add a little something to it so that you know this may take me a while and I'm just going to play around with it and um you know try to enjoy it and I may do other things in between because I always do like my Marguerite Miller challenge and all that so it's not going to be like a straight shot all the days but um We'll just, we'll just play with it as we go. I kind of want to do it sort of like an art journal, but have some spots where you can write stuff. It's just going to be a, a little hodgepodge thing. I just stumbled across it when I was looking for something. I was like, oh yeah, this would be super fun to play with since I was having so much trouble figuring out what in the world I wanted to do. I did find these super cool old books the other day when my husband and I went um, to a few antique stores. I can't get him. He doesn't like to go for very long, which is fine because I don't really either. I'm not a huge shopper. So, I mean, I do obviously like to get stuff that I can use in crafting, but um, I just am not really much of a shopper anymore. I, I used to like it a lot more when I was younger, but I guess it comes to like, can't really afford it. So <laughs> why bother, right? But she had a really good deal on um, some books. I'll show you really quick. So they're these. And I'm going to use some for um, um, Christmas journals, I think, that I'll sell in my shop. And I may sell a couple of them. It just depends on how much I get done because I'm re real ambitious right now. I bought four of them, but 
who knows if I'll get all four done. But anyway, this one's like the history of England and it's from 1854. So the paper is just fabulous. So I will definitely be taking that out. And I may, what I may do too is the paper that I take out, I may put into little packs that you can um, buy in my shop if you choose. And, but the covers on these are just so cool. So I think if I do, I may put like a little something here, but I think I'll probably leave them mostly the way they are because they're just super cool. And I know this red one for sure I'm gonna keep because that's just, wow. But this is all poems. So I may scan some of these and um, put them in my shop because it's already just, see, it's just falling apart. So it's not going to be long for the world. So it would be nice to have, you know, and be able to use these. So I'll probably scan some of those. But yeah, I got four of them. And this one is so cool because, I mean, you couldn't age it like that if you tried. It's got this big old digger out of it. I don't even know how that happened, but it's just so neat. But they're all from, you know, about that time. Yeah, so... Anyways, very cool. I felt very fortunate to stumble upon those and some have neat pictures that I'll probably scan just because they're, they're fun. So anyways, fun stuff. I don't normally find stuff that old ever around here. It just doesn't, just doesn't really exist um, here. That's the one thing with being kind of out west is I mean, once in a blue moon, you can find it. And I'm, you know, I'm sure it exists, but I just don't find it very often. So anyways, I was excited to find those. And so I'll let you know, you know, if whatever parts or the whole book or whatever I decide to put in my shop. I haven't even figured out what I want to do yet, so I'm not sure. So, but those were fun, fun to find. And, um... She also has these stamp sets that I'm going to attempt. My son is um, trying to make me a website of my own um, away from Etsy because I want to be able to sell stuff like this in my shop. And you cannot sell these in an Etsy shop. Um, you can only sell them if you have your own website. So I've been working to, to have my own website for quite a while. And um, so I don't know where else you can even get those. They're called, you might be able to find them in your area. I don't know. Iron Orchid Designs. Iron Orchid Designs. And they have ironorchiddesigns.com. Um, I think that's what it is. Yeah, ironorchiddesigns.com. So you may be able to find a place in your area that sells them. But anyways, I'm going to attempt to have my own website so that I can have a little bit more of that kind of specialty stuff in there that, you know, so that I'm not selling all the same stuff that everybody's selling on Etsy. That's something that I don't want to do. So anyways, there's, there's new things on the horizon and hopefully it'll work out if we can get a website built and everything. My son does know how to do it, but um, it's very time consuming and that's his biggest problem right now is he does not have loads of time, so... But whenever, we'll just keep plugging away at it. In the meantime, you might be able to find it somewhere. I don't know. I just stumbled on it in that little shop and um, grabbed one of those. But they're super cool, those stamps. And I think they're kind of meant for doing, like, um, furniture. But I think that they would be fabulous. Um... In journals or if you're doing mixed-media canvas stuff they would also be great because some that she has are like huge flowers stamps like that they're huge and so I mean they would look cool on a you know by themselves on a page in a journal yeah for sure but um, I think I need to undo this because I feel like it's not gonna have anything come on um, under that flap, and I do want a little under there. Sorry, the words were evading me while I was trying to think. <laughs> Sad, right? <laughs> but anyways, that was fun.
fun to go in there and see those just on happenstance, like not even knowing they were there and they're just an amazing find. So yeah, I love it when that happens. Cause a lot of times I specifically go looking for certain items and I try to get myself to just look for those certain items. I'm doing this because I got some blue in my gesso. So I'm trying to like kind of lift it out and get it out of there. Um, because otherwise I just get too squirrely and I can't think and whatever. So, I mean, sometimes I just go to antique stores just to see what they have or if they have any paper, but I try to focus a little bit because, <laughs> you know, I'm a little bit squirrel type, so. Yeah, Oops, I got that on there because I set that down. But anyways, that's just, I know this is kind of slow. I'm sorry. And I'm just jabbering away about nothing really, but. That's one thing about a craft with me. You can just either sit down and have a cup of tea and watch and, you know, look at a magazine or, um, or pay very close attention if you'd like, um, or work on a project that you're working on. I also often will turn stuff on to clean up my craft room because that's a never ending process around here. I make a mess, clean it up, make a mess, clean it up. So anyway. These are my Arteza iridescent. This is fairy tale blue. I know you guys are used to seeing, you're probably sick of me using them, but I really love them a lot. They're just fun to put on stuff because they're a little bit transparent. So, and if I get a little on these strings, I'm not going to stress. I mean, I'm sort of trying not to, but if it does, it's not a big deal. This will be a cool journal. And I just couldn't believe it, Allie. When I saw your digi, oh my gosh. I was like, those would be perfect. <laughs> so I ran over to her shop and bought two of them. <laughs> Plus, she's just a sweetheart. So I like to support her any way I can. She's such a sweet lady. But we are quite frequently on the same wavelength, that's for sure. So I'm going to set this. Oh, I didn't get any blue on this. I need a little blue on there. Did I get any on that other flap? There's lots on that one. Okay. Let that dry, and we'll play with another piece here. And then I'll try to, you know, get to decorating something here shortly <laughs> but I'm gonna get some of these covered yeah those those books were so cool they kind of remind me of the stuff that Rachel at Roxy Creations you know can find in Italy and she puts in her shop but normally here I don't find anything that age like I'll sometimes find stuff from the 20s. Um, maybe if I'm super lucky, like the early 1900s. But um, that really old, old stuff, I just, I don't find it. I've probably found maybe two other books in my four years of doing this stuff that were from, I think, the... 1800s maybe they might be early 1900s I can't remember exactly I just remember them being older <laughs> but um yeah just just don't find it I mean not that I'm out scouring all the time but Okay, I need a new page on here so this one can dry. These are fun to use for other stuff, like you can stamp on them or um, whatever. Put 
a little more blue down. I might put a little pink down this time too. I'm liking the pink, even though I don't necessarily think of that as an ocean color usually. I'm really liking it with this, um, this mixture of the stuff that is in my kit and now seeing Allie's kit too, so. I don't know how I got so into this credit card thing, but started playing with it and I was like, that's kind of fun. It just, you know, just gives you a little bit here and there. You could do the same thing like with a, a dry brush sort of effect. But I just kind of like the way this gives you a bit here and there. Keep getting it in those dips between. But thanks for hanging out with me if you're still with me. Some people probably are like, oh, this is boring. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> but it's all part of it. It's all part of it. I mean, this is obviously a different style. I don't normally do these kind, but I thought it would be fun. You could probably make something like this, too, if you just used, like, you know, regular craft card stock and just punch holes, um, make little pockets on them, and you could just put it like maybe in a binder or um, even something like that little binder that I did. These kind of pages would be neat. These ones are a little big, but do a smaller scale, you know. Uh, yeah, I think it would be fun. Okay, let me just tiny bit more blue right here. All right, I'll probably get these dry. And then I'll be right back. So hold on just a second. Okay, so we got those all nice and dry. Still hanging open, but they're dry. Get rid of this. Actually, I can leave that to dry and maybe use it at another time. Okay. <clears throat> so I definitely want to use Allie's papers on some of this. You know, to... <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Jeez. We're gonna do some collaging. So I think I'm going to start with this one and then we'll figure out what else we want to put on it. But for the moment, we're going to go with that. Just tear it. Let's go the wrong way when I tear. I couldn't believe it when I saw these. I was like, these are just perfect. So great. Okay, I'll we'll tear the bottom off. And I'm just going to put some bits, you know, because I don't want to cover everything up. And also there's stuff like, you know, the divots for the thumbs and all those things. So I want to, um, you know, kind of, I don't want to deal with all that is what I'm trying to say. And it's already got pretty colors, so we don't have to. I'm going to do just, I think, a tiny bit of inking around the edges, but not a ton on this particular one. So it's a cooker here again. We're going to have another, like week of over 100 degree temperatures it's just crazy and i'm done i usually don't ever really i mean i love fall i i so i don't mind fall coming but the problem is is then winter comes and that's the one i don't like this is just a little scrap that was sitting over there so i'm just gonna use it 
it's a good color. It's not a great topic, but <laughs> I love that after you glue something down and then you read it and you're like, hmm, it's not really what I wanted on my art piece, but okay. Um, these guys are a little big. I might have to print more of those smaller, which you can do if your printer allows you to do that. Because I might like print these smaller too, because they would be cute, like a row of them or something in a smaller version. Let's see if I have enough smaller ones. I threw a few in with, yeah, see, I feel like that's too small. You know, isn't that always the way, trying to find the right size of stuff? Oh, I think this guy will fit on here. Yes, he does. And then, see, these are a little, like, too small, I think. I mean, we could do something like that. I've got this from that collage. This was the one that I tore off in my Marguerite Miller collage. I just think these are kind of fun to use as the, kind of like the sand or something. Yeah, I think I'll put that there. It's just pieces of old paper. Kind of like tuck them a little. Wanna do that? Yeah, that would kind of work, wouldn't it? It's not really because I put it down already. There we go. Just a little bit so they look like they're sitting in it, you know. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Should have thought that through more. It's not always the way. There's a little white spot here from my not great cutting <laughs> skills. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it over so that it looks like you can actually get up to the door, right? I don't want the flag too far off of there. Okay. Old paper makes great sand. <laughs> I have no idea even if um, those little beach, well, I mean, I assume they have numbers, right? Those little beach houses. This tells you how ignorant I am. <laughs> Never been anywhere where there's little, like, beach houses like that. Actually, I may have when I was very young, but I don't remember it. Because I remember we used to go to Pismo Beach... And I know nothing about that either, because that was when I, like I said, I was very young, and we didn't go then after that, so I'm not really sure. You know how that is. You do something with your kids when they're little, and then for whatever reason, you don't do it again. Some Something. I don't know. 
Okay, and our little seahorse can go in there because he looks cute. And we can put some seashells down here. Some of those itty bitty seashells that my aunt so lovingly cut out. <laughs> She went up into Washington to visit her son and grandkids, so that's where she was off to. Which is good. Okay, so I've got seashells. I need to figure out because I might want to put something else. Oh, look, I have more houses. That's still too big. There's that little one too, but does that one fit? No. Um, what am I doing? Seashells. Those are all large. Oh, a tiny mermaid. I forgot I stuck more than seashells in here huge starfish but I mean it doesn't matter it doesn't have to it's not like to scale or anything <laughs> they're pretty wonky little houses to begin with so <clears throat> I did love making them though I really had fun doing this For somebody who grew up in the desert and all Yeah, these are a bit large for these houses, but it's all right. <clears throat> We're going to use them anyway. See, Susie, I'm using the itty bitties. <laughs> I felt so bad. I have to cut all these out. <laughs> it's like... Oh yeah, you probably don't want to cut out those little tiny things, those little specks. Okay, I think I'll use our glitter glue just for the ease of use on that. I can pick them up. <clears throat> Sorry, I got quiet. That's what happens when I have to concentrate at all. <laughs> too many, too many things to think about, right? Oh my goodness. The biggest one being picking these up. Okay. There we go. Now, seahorse. What do we want with our seahorse? Look at some old, oh, I know, I have stuff. I have these that I just did on that paper. Um, this is one of my stencils. <clears throat> Those are my mark making stencils. I kind of made a mess of that, but they look like this and like this. So I think I'll use some of this. And you could, you know, move the number over more, but I just, I was just using up that paint that I had on that little piece of plastic. So I just kind of like, um, you know, just did a quick run over with that. But I do like that line.
I did it really straight, huh? I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I wanted it more like that, but then I just did it. Can't see the numbers though. Glad that uh, moved for a minute there. It's a bit of work. It's fine. Put a starfish, a starfish with him. He's got to be sort of in the middle because he's got the long nose. Yeah, that would work. Needs just a little something else. Hmm. I don't know what I want. I'm sorry, I'm just doing that thing that I do. Or I don't know what I want to do. <clears throat> way too like straight and these are just little bits that are in my down by the sea um digi these little sort of trims That was about right, wasn't it? Yeah. He's got lots of little spikies. Those were interesting to cut out too. <laughs> You're probably like, yeah, I know if you got the kit. Sorry. <laughs> they were just cute. <clears throat> Okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Just had to figure out what else to put on the other little pockets. You know what I might use? Where did it go? I had just a little piece of the coloring page that I used yesterday. <clears throat> Okay, well, I guess not. I thought I had it over here. Oh, there, no, that's not it. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, that is swirling. That would be cool. I should cut out some of the seashells and stuff from <clears throat> um, that collage book that I have. That would be good. Just have some extra doodads. I think maybe one of these will fit on that little pocket, or at least part of it will. Give it a little something. We could put a seashell with it. Like this one or maybe this pink one. Yeah. 
that's the one. <clears throat> Gosh, I don't even know how long I've been going because I didn't check when after I did I just put I did. <laughs> Yes, it was upside down. <laughs> I may have to doctor some of this um, folio thing because I fixed some of the pockets they were falling off. So we'll see how that goes have to keep an eye on it when I start putting stuff in and out of the pockets. No, oh, my daughter's home. <clears throat> Hold on just one second. I'm going to close my door. I just want her her friend came with her so I just want them to be able to talk without worrying about being loud or whatever. <clears throat> okay, let's see if there's anything in here. My grouper fish is too big too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait on that pocket because I think that I can cut out like a fish or a shell or something from that collage book that I have. I'm doing a video. Oh, you're home already? No, I'm gonna go back. Oh, are you home for lunch? I needed food. Oh, and they let you, why'd you come all the way home? You could have ate down there somewhere. Depends on also I want to get my computer because they're gonna have me train one of the robots. You're gonna train a robot? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That'll be fun. They didn't really have extra computers, so I was like, I'll go home and eat and get my computer. I thought it was Aiden <laughs> that was home. Yeah. That's awesome because I didn't expect you till like one or two. Yeah. Yeah, train a robot. That's pretty awesome. Maybe I'll just use this shell. <laughs> I say one thing and then I get messed around and oh look, I figured it out. <clears throat> Even though those are, eh, that could have been better, huh? It's fine. It just gives a little interest is all. Now I wish I had more seashells and stuff. I don't. Oh, I was going to use this one, huh? My goodness, Amy. I like that one better. Just for more variety. Um, I think I want something else behind that. I like this bold on this. Um, this is just deli paper that I used as a kind of a drop cloth or whatever you want to call it. And um, I just like that gold. As you know. <laughs> as you all know, I like the gold. <laughs> if you've been following me for a while. <laughs> adds a little something. I keep getting the little spongy things and I just changed that not that long ago. I go through so many of those those little Tim Holtz sponges. I mean I'm sure that's the plan right? I'm gonna put our glitter glue so it'll stay down. Oh 
Yeah, I like that. It just gives a little something back there. Oh, these are super fun to play with. I'm excited to do this. So I'll show you guys. I think it's very fun. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really enjoyed it and I will continue work with this stuff. Um, I know I didn't get to that one, but I think I've had my time today. So um, anyways, but I will work on it again probably tomorrow. So I hope you are enjoying it. Let me know what you think. If you like the look, um, whatever, just curious. Um, I don't do a lot of ocean stuff as y'all know. So this is all new to me. So I hope you're liking it and we will chat again tomorrow. Love you guys. Talk later. Bye.